I'm Alex. Um, I'm 15. About two and a half years ago, some friends of mine wrote me a note just talking about the love of Christ and how much I needed that in my life. I was one of those kids who just went along with the crowd. I just didn't really think there was anything missing in my life. It was just talking about how much the Lord loves me and where I would go when I die if I didn't know the Lord. I never really had thought that far ahead in my life as to what would happen to me. And so it was just kind of a big eye-opener for me. So we talked about it a lot after school. And then I, I realized how important it was and how much I needed that in my life and how I had an empty spot in my heart. And so after school, we prayed about it and I accepted the Lord into my heart. And it was just the most amazing decision I've ever made in my life. It's like I'm whole now. My life basically was me and sports and my new, my new relationship with the Lord. And my, with my family, it was kind of different because they didn't have the same beliefs as I did. And so I was just kind of going to church by myself with my friends, not with my family. And with my brother, it was different because he was doing his own thing. He was really interested in cars and music and stuff. And I just, I don't know, I wasn't really close with my brother. He was just my family, and I talked to him when I wanted to get on the computer or something. It wasn't, we didn't really have a close relationship. And this past year, one of the teachers at school pulled me out of class, told me to get all my stuff. And I went to the office, and my mom was in there. She had been crying, and I was really scared because I didn't know what was going on. And she told me that my brother was in a car accident and that he had been killed. I didn't know what to do. I was in such shock that I didn't even know what was happening. It was all, it was like a fantasy. I was so sad because I had never been to a funeral before and the first funeral I had to go to was my brother's and I just never thought that's how it would be. The night that it happened, some friends of mine came over and they were just asking if they could do anything for me or what the, seeing what they could do and I remember one of them was wanting to stay longer than the other ones and she was like can I stay longer and I almost told her that my brother could take her home because it was just so routine oh he can take you home it's not that big of a deal it just made me so sad to realize that all this stuff that I had gotten used to I never would have realized how much it would affect me Right after it happened, I didn't really know what to think. I was really sad, and I guess I was mad, but I wasn't mad at anyone in particular. I was just mad that I really never got to say goodbye. And I realized that I hadn't shared Christ with him and that I needed to share with as many people as I could. Without the love of Christ in my life, I don't know how I would have been able to get through it. I think I've become a lot stronger in my relationship with the Lord. I have learned to trust him more because he got me through this, and I'm sure he'll get me through a lot to come. One of my friends on my softball team, she wasn't really a Christian, or she hadn't accepted the Lord. And I just realized I needed to share Christ with her, and then she accepted the Lord. And I did, I did some speaking at my youth group, and because of that, 15 or more people have come to know Christ just from me sharing. And it was just so great to see how me getting through this trial and learning that sharing Christ is really important, that I could share the love of Christ with one of my friends and how she could come to know the Lord. And I just realized how blessed I really am. And everyone just needs to realize how much the Lord can get them through anything, whether or not it's the death of a loved one or relative. It could be a divorce or something, any kind of loss. I lost my brother. One of the biggest parts of my life, no matter what, he will always be there and you don't, you ha don't have no reason to doubt because he's the constant, the only constant and he will be by your side no matter what.